In this video, we're talking about this, the Celestron Elements Thermocharge 10. So I'm hoping to do more videos around astronomy, at least my kind of beginner level interest in astronomy. And now the winter's here in the UK, it's, it's damn cold. But at night time, the skies are amazingly clear um, and it just looks awesome. So I've been trying to get back out there in, in the evening and kind of look at the stars a little bit more. Also, I want to try and get a bit more astrophotography going on if I can kind of get my head around how to do it really well. But one of the things that I kind of realised is it's just so damn, damn cold and it's not always that optimal for me to be wearing gloves when I'm trying to use a telescope and also got some uh, computer software that I'll talk about on the video, on the blog, or vlog at, at some point. Um, but I picked up one of these um, Celestron hand warmers. I haven't unboxed it or anything yet, so I thought we'd do that um, together. I got this, as usual, looking for a bargain in the Amazon warehouse. So got it a little bit cheaper um, than it is in the store normally. It's basically, has hopefully 12 hours of heat so obviously you have to hold it into your hand to get the warmth but it also has um usb charge bank as well i'm not necessarily that interested in that because um i already had the big celestron power tank but i thought perhaps if i'm out walking in the woods or something i could take this with me on the winter days and it might be handy to have that so i can charge up my phone or what have you so it's also IP65 rated, so it's got water resistant and dust proof and, and all that sort of thing. Um, it is a lithium ion battery. It's 10,000 milliamp hours, I think. Yep. Um, so yeah, the temperature range is up to around 45 degrees centigrade. That's 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so pretty good. And the charge bank has, it's obviously five volts. It has one amp and 2.1 amp um, output options. So awesome. Um, so let's unbox it, see if it's uh, any good. So the packaging is pretty basic, not so much to write home about. A couple of Velcro tabs here. And then we can open this up. So it just kind of like it folds, folds out here like a little display case. Okay, so we just pop the casing to one side here. So inside we have a little kind of fabric storage pouch, USB with um, mini USB on the end. So that's obviously what it used for charging. A carabiner and kind of nylon cord, uh, I guess, attachment. So you can put it on your belt or on your bag or what have you. Uh, instruction manual which tells you what's in here. So it says, yeah, the Thermocharge 10, USB cable, soft carry case, and a four inch 550 paracord strap with carabiner clip. So yeah, all should be pretty straightforward. Let's take it out of this little plastic here. Put it to one side. So this is, it, this is what it looks like. So it actually feels quite nice in your hand. It feels a bit like the same sort of size as one of those armpit roll on things, but obviously I don't suggest you kind of do that. So yeah, it feels pretty good. So it's kind of got a flat head screw top with a little kind of pop out turny turny thing. I don't know what the proper name for it is, but if we take this off, then I think underneath it will be the USB charging connectors. Yep, okay, so there, obviously this is the in charging port and then the two uh, output ports. So the top one is two amps out, the bottom one is one amp out. Then obviously there's the on off switch here, and but that is also kind of replicated on the top. So you don't have to take this off when you just want to use the hand warming function. So let's press this button. Oh, okay, cool. 
So we have some LEDs on the front. So the single red light obviously means that there's power to it. When you first turn it on, there's four, four blue LED lights that light up, obviously indicating um, the charge. So let's just hold it in the hand for a little bit and see how long it's going to take to to warm up. Whilst that's doing that, let's see what the instructions say. So it says charge the battery. Obviously, um, oh, it's getting warm already. That's impressive. Um, yeah, using the hand warmer feature, press the button once. The red LED will illuminate. The unit will begin to heat up. In minutes, it will reach its maximum temperature and you will feel heat being conducted through the main heating surface. The blue LEDs also tell you the status of the battery power. Press the power button once to turn off. Okay. And it says that whenever you plug in a USB device, it automatically starts charging. So you have to turn the on and off button is simply for uh, the hand warming function. And this is getting, this is getting really hot. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave this charging. I'm gonna grab my phone so we can plug that in to see how the charge port works. And I'll also grab my infrared thermometer so we can see just how warm this is or isn't getting. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's really generating a nice amount of heat now. Uh, I'll just uh, move this little thermometer out of the way first. Plug in the iPhone. So let's plug that into the two app out one. It's quite a snug fit. And it's not charging. Why isn't it charging? Okay, that's not a good sign, is it? So, Okay, right. <laughs> you can't be heating and charging at the same time. So basically the green light means it's using the, the power for um, charging things. When it's in the red light mode, it means it's heating the hand warmer. So that's a little bit disappointing actually that you can't do both. I guess it kind of makes sense because you know, it needs to focus the energy somewhere. Um, but yeah, I thought you'd probably still have to hold it and charge at the same time. So that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, and actually cooled down quite a bit from just that short period of time of turning it off. So let's uh, just leave it uh, a few more minutes and then uh, we'll come back and see kind of what it's like temperature wise. Okay, so it's been on for a little while now and it feels really hot in my hand. Obviously not so hot that I want to drop it, but definitely warm enough that I can imagine how that side kind of just popping my hands around it is definitely gonna heat things up. So let's see how hot it is or isn't getting here. So remember it's supposed to be 45 degrees centigrade. So let's get this uh, going on. Okay, so 39, 40, 41, 38. Let's just move it around a little bit. 41.2. Okay, so it had a maximum of 41.4. So it is doing about what it says and it is generating a really nice, a nice warmth. So I think this isn't too bad. I think if you can pick one of these up uh, at the right price and you're gonna you know, use it for walking or out while you're doing you know, some astronomy late at night, you really wanna be able to huddle around something. I think it's worth checking it out. Again, I probably wouldn't, unless you see a deal, I probably wouldn't bother buying the one that had the USB 
um, charging options because as you found out you can't use the charging options whilst you're heating it so it's kind of a one thing or another so you might as well get a dedicated charging pack unless you're that fussed about having everything in a small package but yeah I'm I'm liking this I think this is good it's a nice small item it doesn't take up a lot of space it really does feel really comfortable in your hand it, the shape shape of it your palm sits really nicely around the back there to maybe just kind of hold on kind of warm your hand um, and it's, it's interesting because it's warm around the body but the top and the bottom are nice and cool so the way that it manages uh, and doesn't waste the heat is it's really good let's just check again before we turn it off yeah now it's still getting about 40 so does what it says on the tin so yeah we're checking out these uh, Thermo Masters. Cool. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.